what's going on guys this is Mickey CTX and welcome 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 fuckers to today's episode today's Tuesday actually I was gonna post this on Monday so I had to redo everything I was having some mic problems and my microphone is being fixed right now by uh, the snowball companies it's, it's a Yeti Pro in case you guys are wondering and I'm using another mic right now that I bought off of Best Buy that I will probably return if I don't like it anyways uh, but so far I kind of do like the quality let me know in the comments below if you like this uh, microphone that I'm using so far is a uh, what is it an M audio vocal studio it was like 90 bucks uh, but anyways um, today we're gonna be talking about one email that I have gotten over and over again it's basically the same topic each and every time it's not that it's getting annoying or anything but it is my most asked question that you guys message me on AskMickeyCTX at gmail.com or my Twitter or of course you guys YouTube me uh, message privately. So what are we going to be talking about is about confidence around people and particularly the girls or if you're a brosophine, the guys that you're trying to holler at, the guys or girls that you're trying to be around with and you might be a little nervous. So having the right attitude towards people that you're trying to be around with that you want them to like you or of course if you're trying to holler at the opposite sex, uh, you know, you want to sleep with them, you want to maybe be around them or just get their number, it's absolutely paramount if you ever expect to have any sort of success to be confident. Now, especially on women, women are always able to pick up on the vibe you're giving out and a positive one is attractive because it shows confidence and control. The right attitude enables you to make the people around you feel good. If everyone around you feels good and the girl that you're trying to holler at or if you're a brosophine, the guy you're trying to holler at uh, picks up that amazing vibe, I can rest sure or basically you can rest assured that all women around you will also feel it. So that's extremely important. So as I was at work yesterday trying to come up with the best ideas that I use, uh, the method that I use uh, for me to actually not be so nervous around people that I normally meet every day. I came up with some simple ones that you guys could follow. Now, the very first one that I can basically give you, it's probably the key one. Before you approach a girl, uh, realize that she is nothing special. And in fact, it's just like an old friend that you just happen to see around school or at work or anything like that. Think of her, uh, think of that girl or that guy that you like as a not so hot classmate or a not so hot you know co-worker of yours that you're interested in as just being no more than friends pretending you're familiar with anyone besides her uh, will probably get you into some tr trouble so be more relaxed and comfortable around that person not being nervous will allow you to project confidence and of course it's gonna give you a trait that every girl likes and that is very attractive so I'm telling you don't make her into this godly fucker that is she's like the grandest of the grand okay now the other thing that I came up with uh, that could help you is number two know that your meeting you is going to make that person's day even more awesome so whenever you meet a new woman the point of your interaction is to make her feel good about herself so knowing that don't be a boring fucker don't be a conceited asshole will also make that day of hers just go much better so knowing that you're able to make any girl smile on a consistent basis will make you just be more attractive to that person so you only need to give her a couple of minutes because that's just enough time to spit quality game and impress her with your attitude number three know that she's just a normal person hot women are normal people just like you and remember part one of this was just that she is nothing special, just like an old classmate, a worker, or someone that from church, it doesn't matter. That's just a normal person that you don't even really want to holler at. Just a normal person. So they want to meet a nice guy uh, and are trying to find love and happiness pretty much in this very same way you're trying to do this. And every other person on this world tries to do this. So treat her like a real and normal person, not some hot alien that speaks of different dialect. And make sure that you also have some respect for her. Basically treat her and talk to her like you would to your real friends and and she'll appreciate you for doing it now this also goes number three also goes for people that you're also meeting treat everybody with respect don't put people down remember if you're a girl remember it's chicks over dicks and if you're a guy it's bros over hoes so don't put any one of your friends don't shut them down in front of people that you're trying to be cool around with or girl that you're trying to like because remember that just makes you look like a like just like a dick so just know that now another thing that I mainly could give you an advice is be genuinely interested in her existence focusing on what she's telling you uh, will get you a very long way 
Like, focus on her actual interaction and the nervousness that comes with it won't even be there anymore because you're actually interested in talking to her. The more you listen to what she's saying, the more you'll come up with the other related stuff uh, to ask her, thus appearing interesting uh, to her as well as a person. So, all you gotta do is just repeat what she's telling you while, she's, while you're basically asking the same question she just gave you the answer to. And again, this will allow you to keep a great attitude towards the... Uh, conversation because you're actually focusing on it so girls can pick that up as well now the other thing is number five never do anything that you wouldn't want someone to do to you this is pretty much standard people's skills here but it applies to women that much more imagine if you were a woman and had a total douchebag just approach you and said hey bitch you're fucking hot let me slap that ass what would you have done you would have done anything you would have probably said this guy's a dick I'm not gonna talk to him so of course it's not gonna work you're obviously not going to go around slamming girls' ass uh, and calling the bitch. But just to point that out there, that's not what you do. Don't be a dick towards any girl, even if she rejects you. Make sure you don't uh, say it to her at all. Pardon me, I'm kind of burping right here. <laughs> Anyways, coming across to a uh, girl like that won't get you anywhere. And my last one, and I'm telling you, if you're at a party, may you have been, I just got a text message. Um, and if you're a guy or a girl, this really works a lot. Number six. Talk to everyone, everyone in the party. You should be able to talk to absolutely every single person, especially if you're a guy or a girl that's trying to holler at some guy. Talk to every girl if you're a, a dude, and if, talk to every guy if you're a chick, if you're a brosephine. Talk to everyone that you have a chance to talk to. They don't need to be the hottest person in the fucking room or in the world, uh, but the more you do it, the easier it gets, and just keep a great attitude while you're doing it. So you see, the secret is to improve your overall people's skills. So you're going around at a party or at a get-together, and you're just talking to everyone, just introduce yourself, say, hey, my name is so-and-so, what's your name? It's that simple, seriously. It's not fucking rocket science. A fucking bread, uh, brain-dead monkey could actually fucking do this in a part-time. So I'm just saying, uh, attitude is an incredible important aspect and having the right one will guarantee you to just meet the person you want to be with or get you just fuck you know fucking laid so just keep approaching the more you do it the better you're gonna get and the quicker you're gonna see results so i'm glad you guys came to my channel i'm sorry that i didn't post the last few days like i said i had a lot of people here uh that were from out of town from uh, friends of mine michigan chicago uh oklahoma parts of houston austin it was just all around we had a lot of fucking fun um i was trying to sort of blog but i just still feel weird doing it i'm gonna try to get comfort comfortable doing it uh in the near future so hopefully this commentary helped you guys out i was trying to do it yesterday and my mic just kept fucking up i was doing the commentary i literally finished it twice because i couldn't even clip i couldn't even do anything to this uh to my program i and everything i would say it was just like like it's it was just chopped up like la, 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 like that and that's all that you could hear so Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and actually, before I continue, I actually finish this commentary. This gameplay is not my gameplay, it's a friend of mine, his name is Vaporized Reaper. His, uh, all his info is in the description below, if you want to see some cool fucking gameplay and some really cool talks on commentary. He's a really good friend of mine, so uh, make sure and check him out. And if you're also new to this channel, you can hit that subscribe button, and of course you can come back and see some more. And if you could do me a big favor and hit that like button, it takes 0, 0 point, well, 0 0.001 seconds of your time just to hit that like button. So I appreciate it when you guys do that. It helps my channel grow so much, and I love you fuckers. Till next time, this is yours truly, Mickey CTX, and I'm out.